Hi everyone, this is Jennifer Madrill and this is going to be a short video that will walk you through how to create a resource on OER Commons using OpenAuthor. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you're logged on. As you can see, I am here uh, in the upper right hand corner. And uh, once you're logged in, then what you're going to want to do is click the Create button, which is right there, which will open up the Open Author interface and you'll click Start Authoring which will then bring you to your blank workspace. And this is where you will create your lesson. So the first thing we're going to do is take a look at how to import your design proposal from Google Docs into your prototype. So one way to do it is um, maybe your resource will be right here when you click on import from Google Docs. But if not, you can use the search bar to type your name for your proposal. So I'll type in design proposal and up pops my demo version here and I'll select it. And you just wait a couple seconds and lo and behold there is your imported design proposal which now you will edit to become your design prototype. So if, as we scroll down here, here are a few things to point out. As you can see all of your major headings pulled over from your Google Docs, so including your lesson description, your lesson, your supplementary materials, um, and so forth. And if you look over to the left side, you'll see the table of contents. And the table of contents aligns with how your headings were laid out within your design proposal. And also notice along the top here is the menu bar. A couple things to point out, there's how you add a link, Here's how you insert media, and we have a separate video on that that you can watch a separate after you've seen this one. Here's how to add references, a quick way to add a reference. Uh, here's the help feature. And then over here on the left, to add bulleted lists, you click on that button. How to add a numbered list to increase an indent or to de decrease an indent. How to add a table. How to change how your text is aligned and also how to change your text style. And let's just spend a couple seconds talking about how you are able to change the text style and then also how that influences the table of contents. So if you notice here, the header is the green text and that aligns over with the table of contents. And then in the lesson title, for example, is a subheader, which then is a subheading within your table of contents. So that's a really nice feature. So you don't need to go back and recreate a table of contents when you're done. And also that imported nicely from Google Docs. After you've uploaded your document, then you're able to go into the upper left hand corner of the document and add a title and then save your document, which you can do every time you want to save a draft. And then it's also a nice feature to click the preview button, which will then give you a, a view of what the document looks like before you finally publish it. And then when you're ready to move on, after you have everything done within your document, you can go to the bottom right hand corner and click next step, describe. 